Okay, well, let's go ahead and start. Um, this is um, a Meet the Mentor group um, event sponsored by Mastrius, which is if you haven't taken any courses or groups through Mastrius, is a great place to learn and get all so sorts of instruction, um, critiques, advice, and a place to make have a great art community and learn from mentors about things that maybe you hadn't thought about, new new techniques, and a whole bunch of other things. So check it out at masterius.com. And Susan will be mentoring two groups through Masterius. And she made a little video to kind of talk about herself. So I think that will be a great introduction. And why don't we start out with that? And then we'll, we'll talk back and forth. And Susan um, is interested in talking also about painting uh, from the heart and using emotion in painting and left side and the right side of your brain. And I can't wait to learn all of this. Thanks. So. Um, I think the first thing we need to do is to make my screen full. Do you know how to do that? I see it's full for, for me. You okay. have it. So, so what you want to do um, is view. instead of gallery view. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do um, full screen for me. Speak. Mm. Nope, that's not what I want. Here's Lila. Hi, Lila. Hi, Lila. Oh, my gosh. Thank you for coming. I'm looking forward to talking to you. <laughs> yeah, me too. Okay, let's see. Um, oh, well, right. <laughs> Howard. Okay, let me okay. see about. So, are you are you the host? Maybe I am. Because if you're the host, then you can sit. You can spotlight me, or maybe That's I can spotlight you. I'm sorry. I am not the most versed in this yet i'm trying to be though i'm trying to be all right first why don't we all talk about who we are and where we're from and i will figure this out in the meantime i'm the navigator for both of susan's groups sue mesmer and i live in phoenix and it's finally gotten below 100 degrees here and we're static although it's all the hurricane from california kind of causing the clouds and rain and right. everything right. Okay, um, how about Cheryl? Cheryl Farmer, and I live in Bozeman. So um, I've taken classes with Susan Howard before, and uh, and I have some of their art in my home, so I really enjoy seeing that. And um, just need some inspiration to get going with watercolor again, since I've been working with pastel, and, and it's just a different medium, and I feel like I've lost what watercolor is about. So that's what I'm looking for. Yeah. Well, great. All right, how about um, Lila? Hey, I'm, I'm Lila Bartle. I'm, uh, I live in Topeka, Kansas, which is called the top city in Kansas for a couple of reasons. It's a capital city and um, they take a lot of pride in some of the things that they're offering to young people and to um, people of uh, that are under of oppression and so forth. And they're doing a lot. Anyway, I like Topeka a lot and I have been working in watercolor with Susan. We had our 25th anniversary one year, a couple of years ago. Yeah. Uh, 25th time I got to come see her. Love it. I love visiting with Howard as well. I took something from him and I, I'm going to brag about my, the, I have 16 originals of Susan in my house, and I have two of Howard Friedman's. Wow. <laughs> I could go get them for you. I could come get them for you. You're our, our, our to Topeka gallery is what you are. <laughs> yes, I am, and I'm going to show it. I show them off every time, chance I get to. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> wow. Great. Okay, Shannon. Uh, I'm from Billings, Montana, and I've taken classes from both Susan and uh, Howard when they lived in Bozeman. And um, I, I only have two pieces. I have one of Howard's and, and one of Susan's. It's probably one of my very favorite pieces of art that I have. And um, 
and I just started watercolor, so I'm excited to see what oh, Susan has great. to watercolor. Great. Otherwise, fantastic. I typically do oil. Right. Yeah. Great. Okay, Vicky. Oh, Vicky. Vicky's yeah. missing for a second. Howard. I'm Howard. I'm Susan's husband, and uh, I'll be mentoring my own class. Uh, and um, we used to live in Bozeman. Now we live in Arkansas. I guess pretty much everything I'd have to say would be coming out of Susan's mouth because <laughs> <laughs> we live together. And um, so I, I've been painting for a very long time and teaching. And uh, I'm looking forward to starting my first Mastery's Mentor Program coming up uh, September 3rd. He nice. has, he's doing a meet the mentor, just like we're doing right now, tomorrow night. Yes, I'll be doing yeah. this tomorrow night again. And he'll be mentoring on oils. And now Vicki. Vicki, yeah. We can't hear you. Unmute yourself, Vicki. I think she needs to unmute. Do you know how to do that, Vicki? Just go down to the bottom and with your cursor, go to the microphone. There's a little arrow and you can click on and it'll say unmute. It'll pick the microphone up. All right, I guess you have to click right. Yeah, and I'm unable to do it. Here you go. Oh, yeah. okay, thank you. Okay. I'm not on mute. Yes, okay. you are not on I mute. Don't, I can hear you. You can tilt your screen don't. a little bit too, Vicki, so we can see your beautiful face. Oh, uh, no, there we no. go. <laughs> That's wonderful. Um, thank you. Um, I don't think I'm as advanced as the other people here. Um, I've been following Susan, and I love her artwork. Mm -hmm. I have been. I have taken some classes at Judy Patty's studio yes. up in Littleton, and I saw that Susan is going to be teaching there next no. year <laughs> yes, i am i'm looking at the date here it's in february okay that's yeah. not too long off okay no. i need if i'm gonna go i need to get signed up because they those classes fill up fast yeah. there i know yeah. yeah and so i um uh just recently attended three other workshops up there by really yeah. good artists that i great. admire so i'm trying yes you are yes. That's fantastic. <laughs> yeah and i do watercolors and um, I'm going to take an uh, start an oil class just for fun next week, but continue with my watercolors because I love it. Fantastic. That's great. That's great. Well, okay, Susan, um, we'd love to see your your video. Okay, but I think you you'll want to see it full screen. So okay. spotlight. I did pin you, so that will be good. Right, maybe I get out of the gallery. I see you full screen, Susan. I have you. I think uh, now I have speaker, but I don't have. You have to go up to the view. Yeah, I well, have... move your hand and see if that will help us. Screen at the bottom. Now I see Cheryl. Let's see. Okay, I can pin you again. Okay. Okay. Let me go back. There you are. It's the three buttons on the top, and you go pin on Susan. I did. Three little dots. Okay. All right. Okay. There, I reinforced it. Okay. Um, hi. So I have a video that I thought, well, it's self-explanatory. Let me just get into this for a second here. Advanced. Come on, here we go. Hi, I'm Susan Blackwood. The best way for you to get to know me as an art. Hi, I'm right. Susan Blackwood. <laughs> the best way for you to get to know me as an artist and a mentor is through my paintings. I've put together a collection so you can see who I am and what I have to offer you. Right now, you're looking at me standing next to one of my contemporary style paintings, but I paint a lot of styles. 
I'm a professional artist, a painting teacher, and a mentor. So how did I get here? Well, I got my bachelor's degree of fine art from Northern Illinois University in 1970 and studied watercolors while I was there with Wynn Jones, also a really fine watercolorist. And I started taking workshops with award-winning artists. In 1982, I attended the American Academy of Art in Chicago and studied with watercolorist Irving Shapiro. In 1972, I started painting watercolors professionally and selling at art fairs in Tucson, Arizona, and I started winning awards. In 1975, my first husband was hired by the American International School in Lahore, Pakistan. That's where I started teaching art for three years and had three very successful solo shows. After that, in 1978, we returned to Colorado. My love of watercolors and working with artists continued with me teaching national workshops and in the, com the local community art college. I began selling prints of my watercolor paintings nationally and internationally. My paintings continued to win awards and I was made signature member in five national watercolor societies. In 1992, I moved up to Montana and continued exhibiting and winning awards in national shows and teaching workshops nationally, and I added England and in France. By now you can see from this slideshow, I like to paint many styles from realism to contemporary and all kinds of subjects in watercolors, but wait, my life changed. In the late 90s, oil painter Howard Friedland and I fell in love. As my sister artist Karen says, our easels kept getting closer and closer together. We were married in 1998. Yep, we just celebrated our 25th anniversary. And with our reunion came my fascination of his world of oils and the thick, three-dimensional gooey brushstrokes, strong darks and rich colors. They amazed me. Five years later, in 2003, I decided to find out who I would be as an oil painter, so I made a plan. I decided to lay down my beloved watercolor brushes for one year. Any show scheduled during that year, I would just have to paint the paintings in oils. That pushed me very hard to learn how to handle these new brushes and stiff, rich textures. I worked very hard. Before the year was over, I had begun winning awards for my oils. After that first year, I knew I was hooked. Now I am also a signature member of Oil Painters of America and the American Impressionist Society. As you can see, I still paint in a wide variety of subjects. Put it in front of me and I will paint it. But now I have choices. Do I paint it in watercolors or oils? I paint both. I, I'm still very fascinated with many different subject matter. Sometimes I paint a series of the same subject matter like portraits and figures from life or spend the summer painting plein air landscapes. In my studio I may do a series on flowers or animals or landscapes or abstracts but mainly I wait until something in this glorious world traps, taps me on my shoulder and says paint me. I'm an artist of many styles, subjects and mediums. I love to capture light and emotion. Often my work is narrative and allows the viewer to sense a story. Besides doing watercolors and oils, I've been very successful with graphite and with pen and ink, and even sculpture. I have painted everything from huge wall murals to tiny miniatures. I owned a frame shop, and I know the fine art of framing and how to display your artwork. As your mentor, I offer you over 50 years of professional experience in the art world selling, teaching, and exploring. Along the way, I've mentored hundreds of artists, encouraging their personal strengths and their personal styles, and at the same time, finding ways to strengthen those areas that are holding them back. I love creating art of all kinds, and I love encouraging artists to find their full potential and realize their dreams. In my mentor groups, I want to know each of your dreams for your art. Together we'll plan how to direct those dreams into reality for your success. Along the way, I've had many mentors. Here are just a few of my many mentors and what they said that influenced me. It started with my parents and grandfather. They were artists and, of course, loved everything I did and encouraged me.
<laughs> they believed in me. In college, my professor Don Strell impressed upon me to believe I can do anything. In the 80s, award-winning watercolorist Phil Austin taught me to embrace plein air painting. In the 90s, internationally known artist Richard Schmidt, incredible watercolorist and oil painter, inspired me. He said, tell only what's necessary in your painting. Wow, that blew my mind. He was my mentor, and we were both on the staff at the Loveland Academy of Fine Art in Colorado. Then came Howard Friedland, the amazing oil painter and wonderful husband. He has many pearls of wisdom. One of my favorites is paint as if you've never seen the subject before. See it as a child would see it for the first time. As a mentor, I have so many things I want to tell you and exciting ways to help you discover things in your painting. I have developed a special way of critiquing an, an artist's work. I call it the Oreo cookie critique. But wait, I'll tell you about it when we meet in my mentoring group. One group I call Painting your, With Your Heart starts this Saturday, August 26th. It's for any medium, um, any subject, and I welcome you all. I have another group for watercolorists that I'll be mentoring, and it's going to start on September 11th. I hope that you can join one of these groups. And be ready to create short-term goals and long-term goals. I want to help you dream big and reach for the stars. Now that you know me, I hope you'll join one of my groups. Be ready to create short-term goals and long-term goals. I want to help you dream big and reach for the stars. Hope to see you soon. So we did it. We got the video. We did it. It was a great video. <laughs> thank you. Beautiful oh, paintings. Thank you. Love the art. But do you see what I mean about if you just see the the uh, paintings, you do you end up knowing a lot about the artist. Not everything, but at least in my case, sure do. You see the things I like, <laughs> things that I interpret, the reasons why. I pick those are the things that I'll explain when we get together and I'll help you find those things. When you're looking at a subject, I'll help you to, to pull out of that subject. I think we're getting a little feedback here. It's it from me. I'm sorry. I okay. I lost internet part way through. So sorry oh, about no. that. <laughs> so, um, but I'll help you realize what your ex you're not just a Xerox machine where you see it and do it. You are interpreting it through your life, through your feelings, through the, the eyes of a person that loves the world and loves life. And you want to express it like a writer. Writers, you can have five writers writing about the same experience and they can be five completely different stories. And that's what we should be as artists. Um, we may have a little flair of this and a little flair of that, but together you're a package. And that's what I want to emphasize for each of you, who you are and how strong that is and to make it stronger. And let me tell you, everybody has those areas that are less than lovely, you know, I'm not so sure about that. And those things will hold you back. So what we're gonna do in our class, in either one of those groups, in any group that I'm mentoring, is we're going to find those. Go we're gonna find your strengths, and then we're gonna find those weaknesses. Got minutes, oh, we got somebody, somebody needs to mute if they've got somebody talking here. Okay, um, and then you'll be, once you know what your weaknesses are, I'll give you exercises to strengthen that. And then we will celebrate your strengths. And it's going to be a, a wonderful family-like environment. Um, I'm very, uh, I love to critique, but I do it with lots of love and gentle stroking um, so that you end up excited and not afraid. 
um, you end up positive about yourself and what you're doing and not, oh gosh, I just can't do it. That's not my job. My job is to keep you excited. So that's, that's what I'm doing. That's great. That's great. Does anybody have any questions? How about she answers this. All right there. <laughs> when exactly does it start? When exactly do we do what? What's okay. our, our rule? Lila, <laughs> you are currently signed up for my class uh, that's that starts Saturday. Okay. Um, that doesn't mean that you can't switch. If you want to do just do uh, watercolors, you can. That's the class that starts. Oh. September 11th. September, no, second, yes. September 11th. Yes, September 11th. And that, uh, I don't have the time right in front of me. That would have been helpful. Um, mountain, mountain time, 6 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. Okay, so <laughs> Lila, I think you're central, aren't you? Right. Uh -huh. So we would start at 5 and go to 7. 5 to central. This coming Saturday. No, no. September September. September 11th, and if you're on Central Time, it would be 7 to 9 p.m., 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Mountain Time, and um, 5 to 7 Pacific Time. So is that one class or several classes? Oh, it's the same setup. Um, you, it's, it's the second Monday of the month that, that Susan... Um, has the mentorship group or or also the she's also mentoring a fourth Saturday which is what you're signed up for now no and, or the, La, excuse me I'm sorry Lyle is signed up actually for uh, the um, paint, painting with your heart the one that has all mediums are a lot oh, yeah. all mediums yeah. yeah. So Lila, if you want to be just with the watercolorists, I mean, I don't care. I, um, I, you're doing some oils too, aren't you? Uh-huh. A little bit. How much? Okay. So maybe that's the one you want to stay in. I've got it down um, for the 26th at six o'clock. Okay. Perfect. But at least I'll start with that and I might. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. okay. And then, then what happens is it's like once a month and then a couple weeks later, we have like a meeting of our group of whoever signed up. And it, the intent is to also create a community of artists where we all kind of discuss what we're doing and get to know each other really well, as well as getting to know Susan. And and so like that's just for an hour, a couple weeks later that we all meet, we determine our time and day on that and we can discuss the homework, we can discuss different ideas, or maybe if there's something we wanna ask Susan about. And then I would act as kind of the facilitator to bring some of these things back to Susan, or you know, we can also discuss them with her you know, during the regular monthly meeting. And then the monthly meeting can go on for as long as anybody wants, sometimes they go, you know, for six months. I was in one recently and we worked with the mentor for 10 months. And um, and then the, the watercolor group that Susan's also doing um, has kind of been around for a couple of years at Mastery, it's a year and a half. And it's, it's down to, it, it has spaces that can, you know, there's spaces you can get um, there's eight students ma maximum, eight participants, and and so there's a few spaces left in that one also. So, so can I ask one other question? Yes. If I'm going to be gone for the first, uh, I'll be gone for a month from September 10th to the to the 15th of October. Uh -huh. So then could I could I jump into the class after that if I wanted to? Yes, you could jump into the class after that, or you could jump in now, and then the recordings are up online, and oh. you are able to do it, um, to view the recordings of the sessions. Okay. And put, there's a chat, so you can, you know, ask questions, put notes in it. So where um, do we go to find out the, all that, that information? Okay. 
So if you look up masterius.com and then write masterius or just write masterius, M-A-S, T as in Tom, R-I-U-S and Blackwood, you'll come up with Susan's page. Susan, okay. you can send her a link with all that information. Yeah, I can. Um, I need your email. It's it's SBJ. S B J like in Jelly. John. John, right. And travel. Travel one, one six at gmail.com. SBJ travel one six at gmail.com. Right. Great. Okay. Send info. Yeah. Um it's a very interesting situation because you you'd only have to pay you know one once a month um you don't pay in advance i mean you don't pay like i'm going to do it for six weeks or six months you just pay that um if you wanted to hold off you you could wait and start that afterwards or if you wanted to to start it now then you can get the recordings since you'll be missing um and uh it's such an interesting um philosophy of the community of artists we are a tribe we speak the same language i get with non-painters and i'm taking a walk with them and i'm going oh look at the light on this thing and they're just absolutely fascinated you know? <laughs> and and it's like no this is the language we talk about you know this is our world and it's fun to then find a community of for instance lila I was going to Kansas and teaching a workshop for a week, once a year for 20, well, it was more than 25. So I think we actually got almost to 30, I think 30, so. year, 30 wow. years. That's and amazing. we were a family. I felt like I was always coming home. And that's what this kind of a group, well, you you did it, Sue, didn't you, for quite yes. a long time. Yeah. And it, it is, it does make, and you make friends and you, you know, you can send notes to each other and you know, everybody follows each other on Instagram. And then also in the feed that is for each class, you can say, hey, I painted this. What do you think of this? And the other, you know, other members of the group weigh in or you say, should I do this or this? Or Susan can also offer a thought there if she signs in. And, and it's just, it's kind of fun. It's like having, you know, peers that that you feel real comfortable with and you don't feel weird about showing them your half finished right. artwork right yeah I had this one piece that was so yellow and it's because I didn't have the lights on I didn't have enough light in the living room and I thought well it needs yellow so I kept adding <laughs> more, yellow and more yellow and it was like is it fluorescent by now <laughs> but if you can look past the yellow you know then but, <laughs> you know there's things like that the, it just makes you, it makes you feel good or people post, you know, other things that they're working on or pictures of places they've been or that type of thing. And there's just a nice camaraderie with the mentor, Susan, as well as with the other people in the group. Yeah. And another thing that's really unique about this is that we have Sue, I know I'm Susan, she's Sue, but, and Sue is what we call a navigator. And uh, that's a, a wonderful word for what she does. Cause she steers, steers the, uh, if somebody has a question, she'll, you know, about technical or all kinds of things. And she's, she works in the background and sometimes she's in the foreground and she helps organize and, and gets the information out. And uh, this is something unheard of when you teach a class. There will be demonstrations. We will find something that everybody would like for me to demonstrate. And we will do that. Um, there's going to be things that we will celebrate. I'm going to encourage you to think of things that are your high point that we want to celebrate. Maybe look for a show. Maybe, maybe you gave one of your paintings to a friend as a wedding present. Or, you know, on and on. How do we celebrate our art? Not just do it and then put it in the pile you know, or put it in a show. I mean, that seems to be the two extremes. But there's so many different ways that, that I want to encourage people to do. I'll tell you one thing I want to do 
is one of the weeks, one of the months, I'm going to say, okay, I want you to pick one of your paintings and I want you to get a card made of it. Because not everybody's done that. And it's very simple to do. And um, yeah, and, and having that information too, I think a lot of people don't even know how to go about that. Exactly. You know, that kind of instruction. Plus, you know, if you don't want to sell them or you don't want to do it commercially, you have cards to give to your friends or, exactly. you know, to the other members in the group. We could, you know, instead of a cookie exchange, we could do a card exchange. Isn't that a great idea? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, there's, um, because not everybody wants the business side. How many of you are thinking about business when you're painting? How no. <laughs> okay so i i'm almost kind of jealous of you that don't th have to think of the business side oops lila has a question lila has a question she has her hand up okay hi lila hi well my question just is what exactly do we do on what day and should i be in my studio or should i be in my home office or should I be listening or am I going to be doing or, or what or what? It would be, be specific great. with me. Teach me. I like you always do. Set me down and tell me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, what I do in person. Right. You know, uh, on the screen. Exactly. Uh, what I would like, if this is possible, is for those people that have signed up for the Saturday one that's starting to fill out the form that uh, Mastrius sends out, it's an it's an internet thing, and on it it tells me what are your questions, you know what are your what what areas do you want to see demonstrated? Is there is it about color or is it about a thing like trees or or um, flesh tone, you know, that, you know, mm -hmm. uh, what subjects are you interested in? This is going to be a group that could possibly be very narrow. You just all happen to be in the same genre and uh, interests, or it could be very wide. And if it's wide, we'll find a common ground to be able to demonstrate. Um, and I, I don't foresee painting a whole painting, but I could. I could paint um, part of a painting, how to start a painting, how to finish a painting. When do you stop? You know, there's so many questions on the technical. And then there's... Can I interrupt? I think yeah. Laura was asking you about, does she need to be ready to paint? Or is it just something she can do in the office with, with a laptop? Or she wants to know where she <clears throat> got to be for the meeting. Well, yeah, and I was getting to that, but I thank you so much. Um, the first meeting is going to have to be, if I can get all the papers in advance, then I'm going to be able to plan what I want to do in the class. If I don't, then part of the class will be gathering this information, and um, I will be sitting with my materials ready to roll. And... If I've already been able to plan the class in advance, then I'll know what I'm going to demonstrate. Boom. And then if the students, the artists want to paint along with me, they can, or they can watch it. And then later, when you get the video, they can actually paint it and stop the video and paint it and stop the video, which can be a, a little easier. So I suggest, if it's not too difficult, to, to uh, be able to Zoom this in your studio with your stuff all in front of you. And then if that's the way that, and, and this first time, the first time that we meet will determine the way I can plan it in the future. And I, I'm pretty good with spontaneity. So that, that's the way I foresee it. Is that right, Sue? Yes, that's great. Yeah, and and you know, I think some people do practice while the demo's going on. Other people wait, um, and then each each particular monthly meeting, Susan's going to give us homework to do, and I'm also participating in the class. I'm not just right managing it or navigating it, but um, and so 
then we get a chance to practice that. And then she'll go over what we did as homework. And there will be different folders in the file also to put them in. And other people can make comments, you know, in the meantime, or you can say, you know, should I have done it this way? Or, you know, we can kind of build on that throughout the class. So it looks like we have two more people, Linda and Jim. Hi, Linda and Jim. Where are you? Hi, Susan. <laughs> Hi. I don't see you. I think you have to uh, click I, I, on the arrow. Click on the arrow. Click on the... The arrow on the upper right. And you'll see, see Linda. Linda Romano. Hi, Linda. Oh, it's been a long time. Hi, Howard. Hi, Linda. Oh, you have to move your your I don't, uh, I don't want to be on camera. To face. You don't want to be on camera. Okay. Hi, Linda. Hi. And there's a Jim Olson. And you're muted. Do you want to unmute? You can say hi. If not, we just will wave at you. <laughs> hi, Jim. Hi, Jim. I can't you can see unmute him yourself if you want to talk by. <laughs> Clicking on that little red uh, microphone. microphone down the lower left corner. Oh, I think he did it. No. Yes, Jim. Going once, going twice. So any more questions? I know this is vague as far as <clears throat> we're used to bringing all of our art supplies to class and setting up. And what we're going to be, we're going to be, we're going to be critiquing. The, the work. We're going to be uh, getting some new information, and part of that will probably be a demo. Um, I, I will also be asking what everybody is painting in. So, for instance, I know the class that meets on September 11th, all watercolors, no problem. This class that that meets on Saturday night could be all over the place. So that means that I'll be demonstrating a little bit in the watercolor, a little bit in the oil. I don't know that I'll have enough time to do it all at once, but I've done that before. Um, maybe one week will be watercolor, next week will be oil, that kind of thing. But it um, be a theme, sort of set up as a theme. Yes, time that you can then interpret in whatever medium you're using. Right. And the theme for this class on Saturday night is um, painting from the heart. Painting for thank you. <laughs> painting, painting from the heart. And that means it starts with your heart. And your heart, you picked a subject for a reason. And a lot of times you think it's, oh, because that reminds me of home. Okay. What colors, you know, what textures, what edges, and, and that's what we're going to explore to get you, uh, no matter what medium you're in, and we will explore different emotions. Um, my concept right now is what I'd like to do is uh, have you bring photos that you want to paint, pick one, identify one, and paint it. We'll all paint the same emotion. And so I'll explain that emotion, how you get the, t the edges, the colors, you know, that kind of thing. And you'll interpret your picture using those things, which will make it happier. And then the next week we'll, we'll do another one, which is uh, going to be a different emotion. Is that same concept, concept apply to both watercolor and oil? Every medium. Yep. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, you can, pen and ink, yep, it could do pen and ink, pastels, yep, Cheryl, pastels, um, no, you're wanting to drift away, uh, watercolor oils, acrylic, um, yeah. there isn't a medium, because this is our language, <laughs> what we, what colors we use, the edges, the strokes, the lines, the angles, all of that is just like a writer. When they write a story, they're using certain words. If they're gonna talk about a sleepy child that's tucked into bed, they're not gonna use um, his, his head tossed around, you know, his head 
sunk into the pillow. And that's the sort of thing as artists, we're going to find these words. And each of you have your own special words that um, you'll be using with your medium. So, yeah. Can you meet every week? or Once a month, or... believe it or not, which the once a month gives a, a, you a chance to do the exercise and maybe do a painting or two that I can critique for you. Yeah. Okay. No, no pressure. But um, I think every every two weeks they'll have a meeting. You won't be on the on the meeting the second week of the month, but uh, Sue will be. Um, yeah, I'll be navigating it. Yeah, we'll just kind of have a discussion among all the the people participating, and we can talk about problems that we had or thoughts that we had or man, this particular emotion is hard to paint or <laughs> that type of thing. And and so kind of- I go, go to your website or do you contact us by email? Um, it will be, Susan has a page on the website and there the link will be listed on, you know, once you sign up, then they, they send you to another page it's called Mastery's Chat. And then you have your group with Susan on there and you can click on that and it tells you the links to the monthly meeting, the links to the mid-month meeting. And then that'll be, we all put our questions or we put our, you know, comments or we can, you know, upload our artwork, you know, hey, what do you think of this? Or, you know, does this need something? And, you know, it's a great discussion. We'll have the information about the homework as well. And then you can always contact me with questions. No worries. That's what I'm here for. And and um, if you miss a class, it's recorded so you can watch it. Yes. And yes. if you want to the month and the, I'm sorry, and, go ahead. And if you want to watch that recording more than once, can you do that? Yeah. Okay. The recording will be up for a month. So till the next mentor meeting, okay. but you can watch it as many times as you want. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Um, I thought of something else. Cheryl, do I have your email address? Yes, I get your email. Um, so I'm wondering um, <clears throat> if, if I decide to set up uh, the mentoring on September 11, would, would I I sign up for that. I go to the Marius website. Yeah, Let, let's put that in the chat. Oh, that's yeah. a good idea. Okay. Okay. Let's see. And Cheryl, I can also send the link to you. You know, how okay. to go to the everybody knows how to go to the chat at the bottom of your screen. There's a little. Uh, balloon that underneath it says chat yeah. you can click on yeah. that and you can type in questions and yeah click on the arrow that's right next to the word chat and uh, the balloon okay. and, um, should pop open you can just click on the balloon and it'll open mine isn't opening trouble to oh trouble. there it is ah there it is it takes a little time then at the bottom you can type a message and so Sue, you can um, type in the the uh, the link to Masterius and to Masterius chat. There you go. Yeah. So I've got the the masterius.com is the main website. And then this is the direct link if you're if you're looking at the chat, the direct link to Susan's page. And down at the very bottom, if you scroll down, it'll list the two different courses two different groups. They're not really courses, they're call them groups. And um, I'll see that. Again, dear. You know what, I can, um, let me go I'll online. Okay, then I'll shut the garage door. <laughs> okay. M-A-S, Masterius, right? Yeah, M-A-S-T-R-I-U-S -S dot com. We could, we could share the screen and show how it looks. Yeah. Are you going to do that, Susan? Well, I'm stumbling with the, um, do you want to do it, Sue? I will try. Okay. <laughs> Actually, I think I can just click on that. Yeah, just right to it. 
Yeah. So um, let me share my screen since I've already got it up there. Where am I here? Zoom, zoom. I'm pinning you. So. Okay. Share the screen. Uh, and Master, here we go. So if you go to that link that she posted, you're going to get to this page. And on this page, blah, 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 pictures of mine, um, the, the things that I do or can talk about, I mean, we'll talk about. And then here are the two choices. This one, the one on the left, can you, can you see this marker of mine? I don't know if you can see that. Yes. Yeah. Okay. This one on the left is September 11th. 2023. It's the second Monday of each month. $87 for, for, for a month. Um, and this is the times. Now, these time zones, you can watch it anywhere in the world. Uh, even like us, this is Australia down here. That's 10 a.m. in the morning till, till noon on the next day, actually. <laughs> Um, on Tuesday. Uh, this one here is Pacific time. I'm sorry, Eastern time. And this one is Pacific time. Central time would be right in the middle. A mountain. I mean, mountain, did I say? Yeah. Central time would be um, right in the middle, seven o'clock. Yeah. Five o'clock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Byla. Yeah. Can you please mute your, yourself? Thank you. And then the um, the other class that's starting this Saturday, which is Painting with Your Heart. See, this one's watercolors. This is Painting with Your Heart. That starts this Saturday. And if you are in mountain time, it's going to be five to seven. If you're in uh, Central Time, it'd be six to eight. Eastern Time, seven to nine. I th I'm not sure. Is this British? British yeah. time. Is that for England? That's Canadian. Oh, Canadian. No. No, yeah. that's in England. In England, that's what I thought. So England is pretty early in the morning, <laughs> but um, <laughs> Australia is the next day also. But it's 9 a.m. to 11. So this Can you take a screenshot of this so that they have it. Do they know how to take a screenshot? Yeah. Let's... Um, if you have a Mac, you do Shift, Command, hold those down, and hit four at the same time, and you'll get a little crosshair. You click your your clicker down, hold it down, and drag it diagonally. And then let your finger up, and that'll put a picture in your desktop. If you don't know how to do that, take your phone. While I have it up here, take a picture of it with your phone, and that should be you. And if you do that at the very top, you'll see masters.com forward slash Susan dash Blackwood dash mentorship. So you'll be able to type that in your computer and get yeah. to this. Yeah. Does that make sense? Um, Anybody? No. Everybody got it? Yeah. The groups are limited to eight yes. people. So they do tend to fill up fast. So, yes. Especially with the there was two Saturday. Two hour meetings. It's two hours. I didn't it's, realize that. The, the mentor meeting is two hours, and then the mid month meeting is one hour. Right. And the reason that is, is if I, um, if I'm going to demonstrate, I need time to critique the work, to talk about your goals, each of your goals, um, and to set the stage for what your homework is going to be. And um, those two hours are going to fly, but we will do <laughs> it. Yeah. Okay. So everybody got this? I'll stop sharing. Anybody want me to hold it? One, two, three. Okay, here we go. And we're back.
Okay. So. Well, great. Thank oh, you. Anae, Anae, who um, is the navigator, main navigator at, here's Anae. Hi, Hi Anae. Anae. Thanks for coming. Um, she mentions that the two hours just fly by. And yeah. let me see if I can get the chat up. Um, and each session does celebrations like at the beginning. And we talk about, you know, something to celebrate, kind of like what you mentioned, Susan. We'll talk about, you know, something that touched us for the week with our paintings or even our life. And, and then we go over, as she mentions, burning questions, homework review, and then new learning. So that's the, the mentor session um, that's once a month, as we discussed, and the two-hour session. Right. And, and you well, always get new homework as well. <laughs> right. And yes. the new homework, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Shannon, you were going to say something. Uh, can you can you jump on and do the uh, first two classes of the the multi class oil and uh, watercolor and then switch to just watercolor if you want? You yes. can. Okay. Yeah. Okay. They they won't be following the same necessarily the same path, but yeah, absolutely. Right. That's what's so exciting about this. As a teacher, it's you know jumbling our brains, but. <laughs> um, <laughs> It's as a uh, an artist that wants to think of this as a smorgasbord. You can sample whatever you want. If you find something that you really want to gorge on, <laughs> stick with it. You know, stay with it. If not, try something else. Try different teachers or or different groups uh, that um, uh, different mentors, I should say, and different groups. It's a very exciting new concept. I think it gives the artist a lot of freedom to, yeah. to pick and choose so and a lot of opportunity to learn new techniques or new new information as well as meet other artists who are interested in the same thing right and, it also you know, saves on cost. yeah what it also saves on cost if you're not traveling someplace and yeah it really oh my gosh yeah absolutely yeah. and you know when when i do a demo i'm going to be using a camera that's right over my shoulder so it's going to be like you are looking your head is next to my head when i'm demonstrating um or in, if it's an oil you're standing right at my shoulder as i'm doing it and you'll also see my palette um so you'll see how i mix and what i'm doing and uh, there's lots of chance for conversation for uh, questions. Um, yeah, it's. Uh, well, will, will you send a link for this Saturday? Will there be a link, or how will we know where to go this Saturday? Okay, what well, you have to make up? sure that it's that it's, that it's uh, at least three people in it, right? Yeah, we need to have three people. We oh. have one right now, but that's because I'm kind of new to this, and so. Uh, Getting everything out there is, is, I've kind of not done it so well. Lila, can you see the chat? Yes. Okay. Over in the chat, it says Sue to everyone. If you click on, I think you can click on that. Is that working? Yeah. And it's <laughs> click and it opens up. Do you see that? Yes. Yes. And at the bottom, it says add to cart. Now you can't do it on here, but if you take, the uh, the address the email the uh, web web page address at the top that's masteries.com yes forward. I'll do that I have that copy like that, then you'll that'll open you up to to this this is at the bottom of that page but you'll see me at the yeah. top keep scrolling down and okay. then this the one that you're talking about for this Saturday that you I I believe you're already enrolled yeah mm -hmm, I think uh, that's this one mm -hmm. okay and how will I know what will somebody Will I go to the website or will I go to my email or what, what, where will I go? When, once we get three people signed up um, and, and if you want, I can, I, you should have it already. The mastery is chat. It's chat.masteryist.com since you're already signed up. And if you look at that, I haven't received anything that I know of. Okay. Well, um, 
you might want to check your spam folder and then make sure that you add uh, like anything with masters.com um, to your sent or to your like trusted <laughs> trusted receivers or whatever you're yeah. add them to your list yeah yeah um but you won't have received you won't have received a link to the session yet because there has to be at least three members in it so just watch your email um and you can always contact uh, our one at 1-800 number or email at registrations at masters.com if you have uh, um, questions about when it's starting or if you haven't received the links that you thought you would. Sue might bring up the group and maybe show you just what it looks like in a group unless you'd like me to, Sue. Yeah, let's well, see. I need to talk to Adele and Naomi and Phyllis. Yeah, I, don't think they I know, know. this would really be fun. Absolutely. Oh, Adele mentions you all the time. So. Oh, I know. Well, I sent a newsletter out uh, last night Okay. About this, um, but if, if she knew you were going to be in Saturdays, I I bet you she would want to be a part of it. I'll talk to her tomorrow morning. Okay. I usually see her in Lecompton. Okay. Oh, neat. Um, Sue, do you want me to share my screen? Thank you, and sure. I'm, I'm not trying to take over. I'm just so screen. slow at this. It's okay. I'm happy to share. I'm not. I don't want to take over what you're doing, though. Yeah. No, I appreciate it a whole bunch. Okay, so let's actually, I'm going to go right back to um, mm -hmm. masters.com. So if you're at masters.com and yes. you've signed up, then you should have a login. And for masters.com, you can actually, there's a link up here, masters chat that you click on. But we so already have a login. We're supposed to have logged in already. Well, when you signed up, then you would have set up an account and set up the login. So if you're having trouble with that login, then contact customer service. Oh, and, and they what, can is, <laughs> what is customer service telephone number? Sure. Yeah, I can show you. So on the main master's website, um, you can go to, where is it? Um, I think I just scroll down to the bottom. There's a chat. Yeah, and then the chat, you, you can also click on um, contact. contact us. And there's the phone numbers right there's there. The phone numbers. So the yeah. top one is for Eight, North Eight, America. The bottom one nine, six, got a little seven, plus. Yeah. Yeah. One, one, two, eight. One, one, two, eight. The bottom, eight, the lower one three, is international. Three, so they can dial two. Six, seven. Yeah. Okay. So after you have access to the master's chat, I just make this, I saved this. I've saved it in in a folder. It's a link I go to all the times. Masters Chat is separate from the masters.com website. They're completely, they're separate. So you should see all groups and my groups. Other groups that you can join are like Community Bulletin Board, the Masters News. Sue so can, once you're in a group, she can walk you through that. Right. Um, yeah. But say, um, so I'm just going to look up, because I'm the lead navigator, I have access to all the groups. Um, but so here's both of Susan's groups. Um, What's the 445? Yeah. So that's the one you're in. So once there are enough members to join, you'll see in this upper header here, um, when you click on view more, there will be a session link for this session. So right now it says coming soon. It's not there yet, but that's where you can, if you don't find, if you don't get an email, or can't find your email, you can always come to here and see the session link. And there's a countdown down time we're seeing. This is going to start in four days, 23 hours and 59 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if you're ever in doubt, follow that. Um, it's and then, really yeah. helpful to, to take a look yeah. at that. Yeah. 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 So yeah. anyway, that's, that's the group and you can share information here. If you want to make sure everyone in the group gets your question, then you would write your question and then write group at group, at group. Right. in there. And then everyone will get an email saying that you asked a question or whatever you did. So you posted in the, the feed and then people will go check it out and make yeah. comments or answer your question. And um, 
it's a mm -hmm. great, great way to communicate. Easy to do. Yes. So yeah, since you're in that group, um, Sue can walk you through that too. If you need to have a separate yeah. Sue. We'll meeting. go through yeah. that again. Um, yeah. Oh, I had another thought about that. Back uh, to you. Uh, it's gone. I'm <laughs> leaving. <laughs> 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 Another thought about the group? No, yeah. about, um, yeah, there were so many things flying around in it, I didn't catch that one and hold on to it. But um, it, the the main thing is remember to sign up. Oh, that's what I was going to tell you. If we don't have the minimum of three, the maximum is only eight, so this is not a big group. Um, if we don't have the minimum of three, then we wait for a month and start the next month. Uh, isn't that correct, Sue? Um, yes, typically that's what happens. Sometimes it gets put off a couple more months or if the people in that the group want to transfer to the other group, that would be fine too, assuming there's space yeah. left. Yeah, right. So uh, um, if nobody else signs up, you could transfer over to Susan's other group. If you're a watercolorist, yeah. Yeah. She's a watercolor. Oh, who would, oh Lila? Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. Right. Right. And um that telephone number, which we all wrote down. Did I write it down? <laughs> I didn't write it down. Yeah, it's easy to find on the website. It's just like a yeah. typical thing where it says contact us. Yeah. So, you know, down at the very bottom. And I've called them before and they've been super helpful. Yeah. And this is like anything new. It, you know, you feel like you're bumping into corners and, you know, getting lost down hallways, but um, you will <clears throat> figure it out. And it's, it's very simple and it's wonderful. So one other benefit of being part of this whole program is they have all kinds of uh, events like, they have uh, an event where two artists are painting the same subject. You can both watch them and see how they paint it. How neat is that, right? You're watching them at the same time. Um, there are all kinds of uh, seminars. Um, some of them are, I think some of them are free. Am I speaking out right here? Um, yeah, usually uh, you can get a one month free events membership, but um also, many of them are free. Yeah. And, and if you want to watch them afterwards, there that's the events membership. But if you watch them directly when they're being held, they're all free. Yeah. It's watch just, them live, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. This is just one little tiny part of this experience. But once you get going into it, you know, and we'll keep talking about some of the different events is, that are coming up, you know, each week we'll say, hey, on Tuesday, such and such and such and such is happening. And here's the link. And I think you might like to do it, you know, that kind of thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, great. Any other questions from anybody? No, well, it's been it's wonderful. It's going to be really fun, and we're going to learn a lot, and I hope to see you. Yeah, I hope there. you do want to join us. Um, there's so much more to tell. And if you want, if you're curious, Howard's doing his Meet the Master tomorrow night at what time? Tune in. Uh, well, it'll be 6 Central Time, which would mean uh, it would be 7 o'clock. Um, Eastern. Eastern, and... Five, Five o'clock mountain and, and four o'clock Pacific time. Yeah. So Howard? Yes. Are you someplace interesting or is that just a backdrop? <laughs> no, I'm in the same place Susan is. Okay. But that, that's uh, actually, I think, Cinque Terre. We were there that's, that's what I thought. A, a year ago in June. And that's, that's a vir virtual background. So... But that's a photo that one of us took. Yeah, <laughs> and we cool. have lots of great photos for backgrounds. But right now, when I'm in my studio. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you. It looks interesting. Oh, yeah. it's gorgeous. Yeah. Is very Check out tomorrow night. Yeah, I'll have uh, I'll be showing my studio and 
a bunch of other interesting information about my class. So I'm not trying to uh, bring anybody over from Susan's class, but <laughs> what the heck, take both. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So how many classes are you signed up for? Well, I'm at the moment, I think I have like three or four. So yeah, it, it, it just kind of, it's, it's so amazing to be able to learn like, you know, even though it's virtual, but you're right there. You're it's right there. Great. Yeah. Well, I was told it about 400 about, people in the course, you yeah. know. So tell us a little bit about how you started with Mastrius and what you've gained from being okay, with Yeah, I saw it on an artist's website. And so I checked it out. And I have honestly not taken from that artist because her time conflicted with something else. But I discovered a whole world of possibilities. So At your fingertips, yes. Right. Yes. And and I wanted to learn how to paint a little looser as I tend not to paint very loose. And I'm not sure I really mastered it, but I certainly learned a lot to be able to do that. And and that was really cool. And I learned about like use of color and 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 forms and and it was great. So and use of light and you know, there's so much to learn. Yeah. It'd be, you know, Howard and I have been at, both of us have been at this for 50 years or more. And um, we're still learning. You know, we're still finding things out that just absolutely amaze us. And that's fun to pass it on. Especially as we, as I get older, I keep, I have this urgency to pour myself out, you know, just keep giving, giving, <laughs> giving. I don't want to uh, disappear with all the stuff trapped inside of me. I don't want to give it out. We don't want you to either. I don't want to. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm right. not disappearing. I'm great. I'm great. But um, yeah. So, and you know, the joy that art brings to yourself and to those around you and your friends and your families and strangers, it's, it's a blessing to be an artist. So here we go. Right. Well, great. Well, let us thank know you. if any, other future questions? Do you have another question? I don't. I just said thank oh. you. Okay, You're... yeah. So yeah. good to see you. Yeah. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you so much. And let us know of questions. And we really hope to see you either this Saturday or September 11th. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. And, um, yeah, you can uh, contact me if you've got a question. And if I can't figure it out, I'll send you on to uh, Sue or, yeah, Sue, yeah. <laughs> raise your hand, um, and we'll get we'll get it figured out for you. Like, I'm new at this, so I'm uh, kind of flying with Sue. <laughs> I'm with her. <laughs> okay. Thank you very Great. much. Thank you. Thank you all. Yeah. Take care. Have a nice evening. Ciao. So, Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you, Susan. Thank you. Thank you so you? much, Sue. Uh -huh. Bye, Linda. Oh, there Bye, you are. Bye, Susan. Bye-bye.